Yo, what's poppin' guys, and welcome back to another episode of Hero Brian Lake. Uh, in the last video, we looked at episode 7, Witness. Today, we're looking at episode 8, Albert. By the way, if you haven't seen the past 7 episodes, I highly recommend you go do that, or this video won't make any sense. Uh, or if you don't care, just keep watching anyway and spoil it for yourself, weirdo. Uh, well, anyways, uh, I'm not gonna waste time. Albert, uh, don't know who he is. Maybe he's the miner in that one thing we saw. Mansion place, whatever. Either way, let's just get right into it. Forsaken wood. What? Well, what? What? You need to check this out. Follow me. All right. So it starts with our guy waking up. It seems we're still looking at old video. So it starts with our guy waking up, uh, and the guy comes to the door, and he's like, "Hey, hey, 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 hey!" I shouldn't say door. He's in a tent, but hey, you gotta go check this out. This is some crazy stuff. Let's go see what this crazy stuff is. Oh, did you change the torches? Looks better. No. What? What is it? Come here. What the hell is that? Oh. I don't know. Was this here before? I don't think so. Let's check it out. Alright, so this other guy found this trap door next to a tree that goes like down underground. Uh, for some reason they didn't see it before. Unless it actually wasn't there like they say. It wasn't there before. But, uh, so they're gonna go check it out and see what it is. Uh, I'm excited to see what it is. Let's go ahead and, uh, repeat ourselves again. See what it is. Wow. Come on. Okay, this looks pretty. Alright, give me the give me the chills. I'm sorry, what'd you say there? Uh the sound of that cave is so unbelievably loud that I can't hear a word you guys are saying. Yeah, me too. Um, Albert's house. Keep out. Um Shouldn't we go back? I don't know. I hate to tell you, Albert, my man, but that's not a house. That's a cave. Well, if we go, me first. Okay. Oh, stop. Oh, look at this. Wow. That's really neat. Yeah, that's really neat. Or it's gonna collapse. Either way. I'd honestly leave. I mean, if it's Albert's cave, or sorry, if it's Albert's house, uh, you don't want to break it or Come on, that's not cool, man. Yeah, indeed. Beautiful. Wait, what? Oh, there you are. Should this be my name? I don't know. Oh, oh no. No. Well, no. No one's in. Okay, okay. If you just listen to the, what that other guy said when the main character looked at the door, the guy goes, oh, a door. Like he didn't see the door before. D were you not looking? Did you not look at the wall for five seconds to see that there's a door there? I mean, maybe he didn't. Maybe he was just so infatuated by the uh, beautiful, either not man-made or man-made cave that looks so beautiful. Well, it seems empty. Should we yeah. enter? Yeah. Okay. What? Hey, who are you? Whoa, whoa, hey! Jesus, that scared me to death. Please put that pickaxe away. We don't want any fight. Okay, first of all, ow, my ears. You just peaked the microphone level. Uh, but second of all, so he walks in, and, th and then there's a guy. I'm guessing that's Albert. I'm assuming. He's like, oh, put the pickaxe away, man. I don't want to get pickaxed right in the throat. Put that away. My goodness. Wow. Uh, no, th oh. th that's not better. That's not what I meant. Um... You better, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's good. Better. Why do you uh, come here? Well, uh, we, we saw your hatch up there and we thought, why not go in? Then we saw this beautiful place and then we met you. Okay, I genuinely have a quick question. Why is he still recording? I, I don't understand why he's recording. Also, another thing, when he woke up, he was recording. Like, it said recording in the top when he woke up. So... Does he just record all night? I don't under I don't understand that. Or, or do, you, do you think he wakes up, then grabs his camera, and then goes, Ugh. Morning. Wait, are you campers? Yeah, we are. Well, at least I am. I don't know his story, but I am. No, I'm a survivor, but... 
Does he haunt you? Yes. How did this miner guy know anything about Hero Brian? How, how did he know? Like they just came down to the cave, mentioned nothing about Hero Brian, just said they were campers, and then the guy goes, "Are you haunted by him? Does he haunt you?" And I was like, "Whoa, whoa!" Like imagine if they didn't. They're just like, "What are you talking about, you crazy psycho dude?" Well, seems well you guys can. I'm gonna tell you my story. Wait, what's haunting who? What is it that you're talking about? Is this guy still oblivious to what's going on? Does he not know that there's obviously a haunting going on? Like, the th like he or Brian came out of the ground with lightning striking. Do, do you not think that was even the slightest bit weird? Or is that just like a normal thing for you? Because if it is, wow, that sounds pretty bad, man. Okay, now a long time ago, as I was still young and greedy for diamonds, I came here because I heard rumors of a diamond mine that should be not too far away. That's why I dug down and blew this cave. After a while, it started, well, living. Now there are a few vines, but eventually I found the diamond mine. And when I got to it and mined the first diamond, I heard a, f a funny noise behind me. And since then, I feel watched. And I think since there were rumors that some ghost is living in that cave, it's been haunting the people in the village that was here before. Okay, man, I'm gonna stop your story right there. I don't understand the correlation. So, you decided to go mining for diamonds in this diamond place because you heard there was diamonds there. That makes sense. Uh, when you mine and you, when you mine the diamonds, you heard a noise behind you. You didn't see anything. You just heard a noise. So that sounds familiar. Like you remember the mining episode? It just it explained how when you mine a diamond, uh, here Brian gets angry and he haunts you. Cool. Uh, now in this one, uh, he mines a diamond and he hears a noise. How does he know he's being haunted? He just said he feels watched. That doesn't even make sense. And then also, from him mining diamonds, everyone in the village nearby is now haunted as well? I don't, I don't understand. I need you to explain in a bit more detail. A time ago, a long time ago, houses started vanishing and people too. So I guess there must have been some ancient ghost or something trapped in that mine. So if you're saying it was trapped in the mine, that means that the reason the houses and people were disappearing is because it got released. That's that makes sense. But what released it? You never explained what released it. Is you mining the diamonds releasing it? I don't know. So did you shut it down? I tried to, but whenever I go close it, I feel this beeping in my head. So I, I just can't go closer. So I'm too scared of him haunting me. And since then I've been hiding down here. For him not to find me. So I suppose you're a minor Albert. I am Albert. Okay, so you're too scared to go out because you're you're afraid he might find you and like kill you. Even though he doesn't do that, he makes you kill yourself. But sure, I understand that. But does that mean you've been down here for years? Uh, because if that's true, you're dead. You should be dead. Where's where's your food coming from? Or do you like go up to the surface and get food and then come back down? But then if you can go up to the surface to get food and you've been just fine, why don't you just go up to the surface and live up on the surface? Okay. Uh, is that line still open? It's over there, but I won't go it there. You may explore though. You don't have any resources. Torches. You need torches. Well, the problem is, I've used up all my torches on lighting up this cave, since I don't like the company of monsters. But... Wait. You, you've got torches at your camp, don't you? Yeah, I have some. Then we need to go back. I have a question. I have a question. So... So he doesn't want to go over there, because over there, there's, uh... There's apparently... Something bad? I don't know. So, he... Uh, they ask if he has torches so they can go over there and see what they can find and he's like no I have all, I use all my torches lighting up the cave because I don't want monsters and like okay yeah sure it's like hey do you have torches yeah I got torches well let's go back and get the torches why why do you want to go get the torches that doesn't make any sense why, why do you want to explore the cave what will that do for you what will that do for you all the way can, can you accompany us no I won't go up there it's too, it's too dangerous for me. Okay, that sucks. Um, let me 
we, we need the sword. We really do. We need to give it to him. I don't like handing over the sword, but I got a lot of iron left. I will wait for you here. Okay. I'll be alright. Oh yeah, we will. We won't be home. Okay, on we go. Let's go. And just like that, our hero set out on another quest. For what reason? I don't know, they never really explained it, but they're doing it, and I'm here just to describe what they're doing. So, there they go. Yeah. Can we trust them? I don't know. I hope. Damn it. That was pretty... Oh, wait. Stupid ladder. Can Come on. I think you're getting old. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I like that. I think you're getting old. Because he took like a minute to get up the ladder. Oh. <laughs> Oh, that's not even that funny. I don't know why I laughed at that. Wait, I closed the door. Four zombies are getting in or something. There we are. Lucky enough yep. we made it without danger. That's new. Oh my god, this is a tradition right now. Then go home. No one's forcing you to stay here and do this. You can leave whenever you want. Take this door and let's get the hell out of here. Got them? Yeah. Let's go back. Come on. It's really dark. I don't like that. <laughs> Me neither. Okay. <clears throat> okay, wait, I think I saw so wait, I think I saw something over there. No. No you didn't. I know you didn't. Cause I can see I can see what you're seeing. There's nothing over there. Trust me, there's not. Or maybe there is, I don't know. Cause it's like that thing with the with the old saw milk. Like, it said there's something over there, and you couldn't see it, so there probably is something over there. Stay here. Yeah. Stay here. I want to do something on my own. Stay here. Um, I don't like this. Something tells me to go to the fucking way. <laughs> why am I doing this? Because you're stupid. That's why you're doing this. Because you don't have a brain in your skull that tells you, Danger! Danger! We should leave the area! You're like, Danger? Let's walk right up to it because we're the most stereotypical dumb horror character ever. Don't me. Don't leave me behind. Stay here, okay? I'll be right back. It's like I'm getting a trip to it. My god, dude, you're tripping out. You're tripping out so hard we can see it through the camera that you're holding. That's how bad it is. My, lay down, my guy. Take a breather or go home. Oh, shit. Okay, now what is, what is that? What's that? Is that here, Brian? I think that's here, Brian. Bye. Yeah. Yeah, that's here, Brian. That's him. There he is, right there. That's him. Yep. <sighs> I need to go back. Now, move. Go back. <sighs> what? Well, I'm so confused. I'm so confused. So, you need to get torches, so you go and got the torches. You started to walk back. You said, no, stay here. Something's telling me to go to the lake. You start going to the lake. You get a vision of Hero Brian. You're like, I don't want to go to the lake anymore. And now you're suddenly not... Now you're suddenly not getting attracted towards the lake like you said you were before. And now you're going to go back into the mine. For... <sighs> go here. Open up. Open up. Go! <laughs> Come on, search I don't for, if you be on. Search for Albert now. Search for Albert? He said he'd be in the house until you get back. He, like, you don't have to search for him, you know where he is. Go. Albert? Albert! Albert. Where did he go? He's gone. What a dirty liar. He's gone? He's gone. He said he was gonna do one thing, that was sit in the house. 
Danny's not sitting in the house. Now he's gone. Where? Where did he go? <sighs> well, that's the end of that episode, guys. And that also makes the end of this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, then like it. And if you didn't like it, like it anyways, because one like equals one I hate you to Albert for leaving. Uh, and also, while, while you're at it, why not subscribe to my channel if you enjoy my content? That helped me out a lot. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.